It is considered the most serious substance to unborn babies. Doctors believe they're only beginning to understand the problems drinking alcohol while pregnant will lead to. But as we found, breakthroughs here at home will mean some kids will face brighter futures. We always like to reiterate the message that there isn't a safe period for any alcohol consumption during pregnancy. Professor Jeff Wozniak and his team at the University of Minnesota have dedicated a decade to trying to change the course for kids suffering from fetal alcohol spectrum disorders known as FASD. I think an important step in demonstrating that we can actually alter the trajectory of brain development. New findings recently published in a medical journal point to promise. As part of the study, children two to five years old prenatally exposed to alcohol began drinking a nutrient called choline. Now, as some turned 10, Wozniak brought them back to compare the kids taking the choline with those drinking a placebo. When we look further out at the four-year point, what we see are differences that are more pronounced, more noticeable. Cognitive tests prove the kids taking the choline had improvements in memory, concentration, and problem solving. It's validating to see that what we predicted would happen over the very long term does seem to be happening. This is just the first step in uh, demonstrating that a developmental intervention can be powerful. FASD is now believed to be more common than even autism spectrum disorders. One study found as many as one in 20 first graders suffer from the behavioral and judgment problems it causes. Wozniak says drinking even in the first few weeks of a pregnancy is enough. It's why he hopes for the kids where it's too late, his solution may soon be considered for widespread use. Changing something small early on can have uh, significant effects later on. The U of M team hopes federal funding will come through, allowing them to continue to follow that same group of kids for years to come. To see our series from last year on fetal alcohol spectrum disorders, go to wcco.com links.